So the issue here is that RMA Armament had a level four plate recently pulled from the certification list from the NIJ, and they continued to sell it. Instead of actually addressing it and proving that it did what it was supposed to do, they just said, don't worry, the NIJ is lying, and uh, the lab that actually, the independent lab that actually issued the testing is lying, and they're continuing to selling the plate, and they even advertise that it is NIJ06 tested on there. At the, at the time of this recording, it is uh, listed as NIJ tested 06 tested. Sure, it was tested, but it failed, right? So the qualm that I have is I wouldn't sell this armor anymore until I completely rectified the situation. And every armor company and every company out there has to deal with um, issues with, um, you know, defective product. I have certainly been no stranger to that. I, at one point in time, had a a uh, production run of over 5,000 plate carriers be defective because of a threading issue, at which time I took all of those carriers and instead of selling them to the public, I threw them in a dumpster and then I ate that six-figure cost of doing so. Subsequent to that, we had a level three plus plate that during independent testing failed a back face deformation test. And so we pulled that plate and stopped selling it to the public until we had that rectified. I wanted to give an opportunity for the owner of RMA Armament to actually come on the podcast. And when I addressed that, he replied with, whatever, douche. And if we weren't on top, you wouldn't be taking shots at us. His name is Blake I. Waldrop. Well, Blake, I wouldn't be taking shots at you, mainly because I don't think your armor could stop it. Okay, so emergency podcast is yeah. that what we're calling this or yeah it's just kind of a impromptu two-way procast and we're going to talk about impromptu uh, cast impromptu cats don't 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 nope. overdo it okay all right um so what are we talking about well we're going to talk about um situations I, situations we're going to talk about um we're going to talk about the nij we're going to talk about uh, rma's recent debacle decertification from the nij and i'm not here to talk i, I want to preface everybody with this R, rma was recently decertified on their 1155 level four model and we are not here to uh perpetuate the fact that they were decertified we are here to ask questions talk about the facts that we received talk about actually like how my opinion of the entire situation changed once we really dug into the facts yep. and saw their post and looked the, the items up that we looked up on the NIJ. And so there's a lot of things here to unpack as far as getting decertified in the NIJ. Uh, there's a lot of um, comments that are on their own. There are a lot of comments from their subscribers on social media mm -hmm. that are that are kind of like pu pushing this false bullshit right now. Being uh, apologists. Yeah, yeah, well, not just being apologists because... But but they're they're blaming the NIJ. So right. let's start with what happened back in December of 2022. Yep, uh, the NIJ basically pulled. Now I'll, I'll explain what a fit test is. They pulled plates for a fit test for RMA armament, right? And they do this with Defense. us. An NIJ fit test. It's when they after you get your initial certification, like we have and other companies have, NIJ will go and typically twice per year they will pull random sample of plates for that particular model and then they will send it to a nij certified laboratory and that laboratory will test those plates as per the nij and it will report back to the nij and that's an important fact because the nij is not taking these plates and then testing them in their own lab they're sending them to whatever nij certified lab that they choose for that testing and correct me if i'm wrong but those are independent they are labs independent labs so they're not government run no they are completely no. private citizen owned. nts has one in chesapeake and i think their other one is in wichita. Wich wichita kansas and then obl is a second company oregon ballistic laboratory and they are in obviously oregon and um these are all these are the three main uh, NIJ certification labs in the united states and they are independent like you said so i will also say this so these guys that run these labs, I've met most of them. Uh, Danny, who runs our mm -hmm. armor division, has done a great job at networking with these guys. Every time we go to conventions, we have lunch, you know, and 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 uh, and hang out with these guys, mm -hmm. right? So and you know, we'll have coffee. We yeah. know them. I know them personally. They're good dudes. They know what they're doing. 
they they're very intelligent and they're uh, they are professionals in their sector. But everybody can make mistakes. Right. So I want to make something clear. NIJ pulls. Let, let's walk through the timeline. Back line. to the fit test. Back yeah. to the fit test. They pull the eleven fifty fives in December. They end up testing them in I think February of fifteen. I believe February fifteenth uh, of twenty twenty three. And then shortly thereafter, they report back to RMA saying, hey, these failed. Yeah. Right? Do something about it. So according to RMA, they did something about it. They did everything they could to, you know, work through whatever it was that, you know, the failure point was. And uh, come September or I don't, I, I don't know if the original accusation of penetration for their plate came on that February 15th date, or if they had to go back and resubmit, f- fix something and resubmit, and then the penetration came thereafter. Regardless, in accordance, according to NIJ, there was a penetration on one of their level four plates. Correct. According, Whatever they according to- from Chesapeake, correct? That told the NIJ. Correct. So I'll get, uh, I'll get there. There is in, um, so somewhere between February and September 1st, RMA did not perform what they were supposed to perform as per the NIJ. So NIJ permanently revoked their um, certification their certification on the NIJ site. So there is a long blog about it on RMA's website. It provides a lot of detail. But the issue that I have with the blog and the post that they're making, right, mm-hmm. the issue that I have and that I wish that we could get some clarification on is this. Why are you showing me one plate? The NIJ pulled four for the fit test. Then what happens is Chesapeake popped a hole in one, apparently, reported back to the NIJ that there was penetration. When RMA requested that plate so that they could look at it and test it, which they did, mm-hmm. and send it to another independent laboratory, the plate that Chesapeake sent them did not have a penetration, according to RMA, and they showed pictures and x-rays. Yep. Okay. Well, at first, you're inclined to believe the fact that RMA did receive a plate that did not have penetration. Yep. I don't disagree that that happened. Did you get all four plates back, though? Right. Did Chesapeake make a human mistake and say, hey, they requested the failed plate back and accidentally sent you one of the four plates that didn't fail? Either way, where are the other three plates? Where are the other three plates? Right. That's what they should put a blog about. Now, if they've got all four plates and say, hey, here are the four plates. And there's no pen. And there's no pen on all four plates. Now we've got. So one of two things is happening here. One of a few things could be happening. Right. Here are my hypotheses. Chesapeake did not actually have penetration have penetration and falsely reported that to the NIJ. Accidentally, I'm not saying they would do this intentionally. Mm-hmm. The NIJ just works off the information that it receives from the independent lab. So I don't think there was any malfeasance from the NIJ mm-hmm. at this point in time. Now, what the internet will tell you if you read these comments are the NIJ is trying to put this company out of bit. It, it's, it's, it's just fucking ridiculous because this is this is one model for one company, right? And right. it you know this the failure happens in the armor industry. Like if you go to the NIJ's website, you could see the the models that have been pulled yeah, plates due, fail. due to failure. It happens. They fail. It happens. Not the end of the world. You correct the issue. You get it. You get it relisted. Right. Not the end of the world. It is what it is. It's not. But. Either Chesapeake falsely reported due to just an accident, right? Human error. Or they correctly reported. And when they sent RMA the plate that apparently had the penetration, they sent the incorrect plate. Right. Right. Or here's the third option. And again, this is the tinfoil hat option, right? It, which is RMA armament is lying, Right. Right. And they're they they do have the penetrated plate, but they're using one of the unpenetrated plates to uh, essentially tell the internet that no, no, look, it's good, it's fine. Right. And they're using the incorrect plate. I don't think that's the case. I mean, my gut tells me that one of the plates did get penetrated, otherwise Chesapeake wouldn't have reported it, mm-hmm. and they just sent the wrong fucking plate to RMA. Right. That that seems. And if like... they have all four, pl- prove me wrong, and then post all four, and then, right. Yeah, and then and, Chesapeake made the mistake. And then that seems to be the the. Um, best answer based on Occam's razor because right. that is the least amount of assumption needed to be made. Right. But also on top of that, when you examine the whole process here and we don't see the other three plates, now we have to go off of 
the word of the company right. that, hey, the NIJ is out to get us. Hey, in NTS Chesapeake is lying right. or th- they made a mistake or something. And but we're telling you the truth based on Occam's razor. It would state that the company has more to gain and or lose by failing that or by by correcting the issue than the NIJ and NTS would have by lying. That is a really good point. What makes the most sense? Well, and I'm not and I'm not calling them a liar. I'm just saying in theory, in theory. Yes. Right. Yeah. There is no benefit. There is no benefit, zero benefit for Chesapeake, an independent laboratory ran by guys who support the Second Amendment, by the way, and right. I can confirm that because I know them. Right. Why they would ever attempt to, you know, Damage line their pockets with money that was given to them by NIJ to fail a plate on one model for a company that's not going to put them out of it. It's, it's ridiculous. Right. Like the, the shit that's coming out of the mouth on the internet right now, I think it's, I think it's insane. They would there be was destroyed. A, there was a mistake made somewhere. Right. There could be somebody acting in... Uh, you know, acting in poor taste, acting in, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, could have nefarious purposes mm. here, right? There, there could be um, malintention, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think so I think either. somebody made a fucking mistake along the way. Either Chesapeake accidentally falsely reported a penetration or RMA received the incorrect plate. And they're 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 pushing around like, hey, this plate isn't penetrated because right. if it isn't, then it fucking isn't. And I, we would I do the it. same thing. I would do the yeah. same shit. If we Dude, received a plate that had no penetration, I would fly to Washington myself. I would be banging down the door. I would have Allegedly. attorneys. I would be fucking. Oh yeah, I would not. I would not do that. Allegedly. Wouldn't do that. Would never yeah. go to. <laughs> <laughs> you would hire but attorneys. Though. I would hire. Yeah. I would hire attorneys. Yeah. I would file lawsuits. I would file appeals. Like everything that they're probably doing right now, I would be doing if I genuinely thought that I didn't get a fucking pin. Right. But. Where are the other three plates? Yeah. That's what I want to see. Right. And if none of them have pin, none of them have pin. Right. We can move on with our lives and go from there. And then, yeah, I totally get it. But do not get decertified from the the problem that I have with RMA is the fact that you got decertified as per the NIJ based on a penetration. And then you took it upon yourself to say, nah, you're wrong. I'm right. And I'm going to leave my compliance notice up on my website. NIJ compliant. It's right. not though. You just got decertified. Right. It's not. You didn't even give it a couple days and send your plates back up there to get not recertified, but at least get a new lab report for your current lot. I don't see a current lot testing posted on the on the site, but you continue to sell plates without verification. That the current lot that is in question is actually saying it's tested up yeah, to saying it's 06 tested up compliance. to 06 compliance for level yeah. four, man. Like it's just it's it's simple shit. That's what I would do. Right. Right. I'd be like, oh fuck, we got decertified. What lot are they referring to? I'm gonna pull the entire lot. I'm gonna take the next lot. I'm gonna go get a lab certification. I'll post it on my site and I'm gonna let everybody know that hey, this next lot is actually within compliance. And I'll take 25 plates and shoot them with black tip and show you that it's not going to do it yeah and then the post that came after the post that they posted that came after just so conveniently came yeah. after hey the nij pulled our certification and here's our response was one of our level four 1155 plates saved a fucking life right which is great i'm glad it saved a life absolutely did that guy get shot with 30 at 6 ap right you see what i'm saying it's just a marketing yeah. gimmick yeah, so yeah. It, it is what it is i just want i just want full disclosure because look nij decertification it can happen to anybody. It's happened to Hesco. It's happened to Safari Land. It's, now it's happened to RMA. It right. It's happened to a lot it of companies. It probably happen to us one day. So it's not it, it's not the end of the world. It's just how you kind of handle it. And they, you know, the way that they handle it was just deny fucking everything, which I'm not going to lie. I probably would have fucking done if, if I said, well, send me the plate in question and it right. wasn't penetrated. Yeah. I'd freak the fuck out, too. So I've got their back on that. Right. I, I really do. If, if that's the case. Mm-hmm. But what's the truth? Right. Do you have all four plates? We're, and you just we're chose stuck the in one a gray area. Yeah. You know, yeah. nobody really knows. Give yeah. us the other four plates because I know four plates were pulled for the fit test. Do that. And then I'll get back on another podcast and say I was wrong. Right. Yeah. I think or, it would be great to have him out I'm here. I'm not really. It's not that I'm wrong. I'm just trying to. Post the, yeah. I, I think it'd be great to have him out here too. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Like you if know, you guys want to come on the podcast and talk about it, let's do it. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about let's, the situation. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only thing it's going to do is just give them a soapbox to stand on allow right. everybody to kind of hear their voice right it gives them a stage of some sort I mean, you know we're small it's a small stage but it's a stage nonetheless yeah and they can make reference to it right when we go through when we talk about things it won't be the only thing we talk about either maybe right. we could build a nice little relationship give each other over the pants handies under the uh, under the table here That'd be fun. not in a dirty business way but in just like a pleasure way oh yeah 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 absolutely yeah.
Yeah. What we could do actually, here, here's what I'm thinking is I'll say, hey, you bring your level four armor and then I'll go get one of my level four armors and I'm going to wear mine and get shot with 30 at six AP and you're going to wear yours and get shot with 30 at six AP. Are you willing to do that? And it'll be the owner of both companies getting shot with 30, 30 at six AP. To save your marriage, it. I'll do it <laughs> <Yeah>. for you. <laughs> to save your marriage, I'll wear it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll be an armor off. Do you? How much do you do? You trust it's an it? armor off. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. you know for for those for those out there who think we are punching down and talking shit, it's not that at all. We are simply asking the questions that are not being answered, mm. and with that, the wow. no company is above failures in some way. Yeah, and and we also want to push <laughs> this narrative, quote unquote, of don't just grab a company's back because they say so. Yeah. Right. Like hold everybody accountable. Ask everybody, questions, ev- including us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If if we're saying something and and NIJ is saying something else, ask the questions. Yeah. Don't just say, oh, the NIJ is wrong. Ask the questions. Let's get to the bottom of it. Well, can I preface the reason why we're really even here right now is because I posted a comment and it got deleted, yeah. and then I posted another comment, and this is to it, this RMA. is to RMA's Instagram feed, right? They to their to their post. They made the post. I commented, they deleted it. I recommented, they deleted it. And so I'm like, all right, man, if you're not going to let me talk on your platform and you are going to, I, that's the thing that, the, the shit that gears. grates my fucking cheese, dude, yeah. is censorship. Now, I fucking hate censorship, especially on the social media level with, where social media companies actually censor what we do in Our the content, Second Amendment yeah. community. But that we're constantly, when we a- do it on a granular basis, when you take it down to the individual company and now you're censoring mm-hmm. right on your small platform it's it's fucking ridiculous we right. do not delete comments unless something is inherently and proven false. the example that i gave you yesterday when we talked about it mm-hmm. the only time i will delete a comment on our social media is if it is just flagrantly racist right and it will offend people yeah right if it or if hateful. it is hateful yeah hateful yeah. like absolutely hateful and i'm not talking about like um well that's your opinion that it's hateful no, no it's got to be it's got to be it's got to be blatant it's got to be yeah. flagrant it can't be like you know your opinion on you know uh pronouns for right. for people or something right. I, I don't give a shit about that but so if we're talking about uh flagrantly false as well that means if i'm in sacramento and i know it's 80 degrees and it's not raining yeah but you say it's a negative 32 degrees fahrenheit and it is snowing in sacramento in sacramento yeah I'm going to delete your comment. I'm going to delete your fucking comment because yeah. it's not true. Yeah. Right. And that's just a weird hypothetical. It's, but, but it, it, that's, it plays into that, right? You, right. you, if you go and comment something that is just completely outlandishly incorrect, false, false. Yeah. It, it's not that it doesn't align with my opinion. Right. And that's what the shit, like when I was posting RMA, it didn't align with their, oh, well, this doesn't align with what I want people to see on my, on yeah. my thread. So I'm going to delete it. No, fuck that. Right. Like it, if it, it's the facts those are the things right. we delete. If you if you try to spread uh, some sort of like false information, right, right, legitimately false information. Yes, almost everybody in the two A space is like, yeah, social media is censoring us and it's bullshit. Yeah, but then for us to censor stuff that we don't like is just it's silly sallies. Well, it 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 it's just it. We already get enough of it, right? Right. From There's too media. much. I think, I think that doing it ourselves is uh, is completely unnecessary. So, that is kind of the full circle reason why we were we are even here yeah. right now is because I uh, that conversation got started when they started deleting our comments. But I would like to know the truth. I'd like to see the other three plates, and I would like to, um, you know, invite people who are you know people who are following us and customers of ours as well as customers of RMA to not be fucking cucks and. Uh, you know, just absolutely hop on the, you know, hop on the dick of every company that they're fans of. Right. And just start asking questions because that's all I saw in RMA. Like, we got your back. Dude, they failed fucking NIJ certification. Yeah. Why don't you ask some fucking questions? I would expect our customers to be like, hey, like, why? Like, what's your take right. on this? Look, like, I don't care what they say. But that was what we were talking about here, mm-hmm. right? I don't care what they say. I got your back. And that's great. Kind of. Kinda. I mean, I'm sure it makes them feel good, which right. is cool. But it's like, dude, you should ask fucking questions if their plate was penetrated from the threat that they were advertising. That's a serious fucking accusation. Right. And we should dig into it a little bit. It's, not just hop on, you know, hop on the bandwagon. Right. I don't care if it's this is armor that we're talking about. And that's the only reason why 
like I give so much of a shit. Like if we were talking about dump pouches, right? Yeah. Battle belts, right? And somebody was like, like they say that they make it in America, but they really don't. It doesn't like I don't give a fuck. Like if RMA was like let's say in a in a theory hypothetical situation, <sighs> hypothetical. right? I'm not even going to use their name so right. it doesn't get confused. If Company A was saying, like, we make our battle belts in America, and they weren't, and I knew that, I don't give a fuck, dude. Whatever. Yeah. Like, you're just, you know, you're lying to your customer base. Eventually, you're going to get caught. Right. Don't tell them that. Correct. Right? I don't care. I'm not going to do a podcast about it. I'm not going to. There's not going to be outrage. Right. It's not a life-saving device. It's a fucking belt. You know what right. I mean? Right. If your belt fails, you're it's, not going to die. A, yeah. It's, it's 500D nylon. You yeah. know, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. So that being said, when it comes to armor, that is a big fucking deal, right? right? Armor things that make a hole and plug a hole and stop a hole, right? So your armor, your medical, your, your, your firearms. Yeah. So the, these, these things need to be exactly what people say that they are. Right. Cause if you're selling shit that is not those things, it could cost somebody their life. Right. And exactly. that's why it's a big fucking deal. And, and that's why we're doing what we're doing today. Yeah. It has nothing to do with like, well, you know, this guy's making a, I don't know, a, you know, a, <clears throat> a tourniquet holder, you know, and it failed. Okay, his tourniquet holder failed. Yeah. You know, find a fucking another one. It's not a big deal. Yeah, put, it, don't, put, don't. Put, put your tourniquet in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. This is armor. Strap so, it down. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the, the crazy thing is, is their, their armor is actually in a lot of uh, departments. Right. Say, right. They sell the police and they sell the guys that well, are that actually was, on the front lines. That was part of basis. the NIJ's uh, suggestion. Mandate, yeah. yeah. It was, hey. I thought it was a mandate. Uh, Do well, not sell these. The reason I said oh. suggestion is because they said if you cannot replace the plates, a uh, plate that doesn't meet specifications is still better than no plate. I can, I can agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'd I rather mean, run around with a fucking level four plate that didn't. You know, it didn't stop at 38 but, at 6 AP, but you know it'll probably stop at uh, 5.56. Five, that's the whole point of their second post, right? Yeah. It, sure. Yeah. It saved a life. I'm very happy about that. That's amazing. That's right. awesome. But did it stop the threat it was advertised for? Yeah, probably Because not. when you go to NTS, it's going to stop. They're, they're testing for the threat you're saying it's going to stop. Correct. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I, I'm, I'm inclined to completely agree with that statement. Yeah. yeah Jay, it's like, hey, at least keep wearing the armor that you've got until it gets replaced because it's better yeah. than nothing. And yeah. I, and I agree with that too. And let's let's go into that just real quick. It's a little tiddlywink. Um, there's this, like, I'm, I've got a, I draw a pretty hard line on when it comes to actual, like, body armor plates. Like, ours at least being made in America. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it is uh, being made here by us. We control a lot. We control the quality. We know exactly what goes in and out of, uh, of our plates. Right. Okay. Having said that, though, because we do that, our plates are, especially our composites and our ceramics, can be a little more expensive based on all the technology that we've implemented and all the testing that we do. They can be more expensive right. than other companies' plates. I'll be honest with you here, right? And I'm not sitting here trying to shill my own shit, but I'll, I'll show my own shit. I would definitely purchase one of our steel plates over, right. like, because our steel plates are air 600, six and a half pounds. So before I went and bought a six pound level four from China, I would actually spend half that price, right? Spend half the money and just go buy steel. Right. Right. Because you can like, you don't know what's happening, right? With the Chinese armor. Like you have no idea where they're getting the raw material from. At least if they're getting the raw material in the United States and they're shipping it to another country to be pressed or something, that's a hell of a lot better than just getting some random ass material and putting mm -hmm. it into a plate. Right. My thought is, if you really can't afford armor, just buy fucking steel made here in the United States. Right. It's better. But if you're not going to do that, get something. It's better than nothing. It's it's the same idea. Like if you can't afford like an expensive rifle, get a rifle. Yeah. Just get one. Just get a fucking PSA. Yeah, get get that four hundred dollar PSA. Yeah. Work it. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas's training rifle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this can be a training rifle. Yeah. You shouldn't trust yourself. Anyways, <laughs> did uh, you want to address the comments that were the hate that you got for uh, saying that we were always ripping on Lucas and and, and we're always jerking off BRCC? Because I don't think that we really do that actually. Do you uh, want to talk about that or? Sure, I'll, I'll talk about it just a little bit. Um, just received a comment the other day, where or yesterday, today. I don't know. My brain is melting. But <laughs> received a comment, somebody saying, hey, I'm getting really annoyed with you ripping on Lucas, but you guys seem like you love BRCC. And this was based off of the fact that we used a screenshot from T-Rex Arms for the HESCO plate um, in our, our armor sale video. And so, you know, I, I commented back. I was like, how are we ripping on Lucas? And he said, well, it's obviously a picture from T-Rex arms. 
and you guys never criticize BRCC, but you criticize Lucas. And and it's just like, no one is free from criticism. Like we, there's, there's tons of people that we will criticize and we are not free from critis, criticism either. Lucas does some, you know, Lucas and his brother do good things for the community. Yeah. They put out a lot of training. They put out a lot of useful information, whether it's wrong and it turns out to be wrong in the, in the future, he'll at least put out somewhat of an apology video yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? He can at least own himself on that. And I respect that. And it, we're all wrong sometimes. There's been times like my sling video, uh, my old sling video, I suggested putting the QD on the opposite side. Mm. I learned better since then. Yeah. Right. So like we all make little mistakes here and there. There's a lot of information. Um, and BRCC, we've criticized them before, you know, on the Rittenhouse thing, the, Rittenhouse the, co thing, the yeah. coffee, some of the things that they do. <laughs> Just like no one is free from it. Yeah, it's easy to rip on Lucas. Yeah, and it's kind of fun. Well, I just my my thing is like I just I am if I don't agree with something that somebody is saying, and I feel like it would be detrimental to somebody's access to their Second Amendment responsibilities, mm -hmm. then I'm going to speak up. Right, right. If you're telling people they have to have this shit in order to exercise their Second Amendment responsibilities, then I'm going to speak up and say no, they fucking don't. Yeah, and I know they don't because I don't. I don't use any of that shit. Right. And I guarantee I'm just as effective. He's better trained, but it doesn't mean that if I had, he, he is, I mean, the guy's a better shot than me. I guarantee he can outperform me all day long. Well, he, spends, he just lives on the range. Yeah. But, he spends a lot of time on the range. Um, but it, if, you know, Lucas duplicated himself and had a fucking twin and used budget, budget gear versus Gucci gear, I, I don't think he would outperform himself. No. I really don't. No. So, it's just my opinion. Again, my opinion. So, yeah. But no, don't, to, del don't delete it. <laughs> but to wrap this all up, that's pretty much why we're here to ask the questions, to figure it yeah, out, that's it. clear up the gray, maybe, and you know, in invite the conversation. Yeah, we would be willing to to open up a open up a podcast about it. And if you guys uh, don't have uh, haven't already hopped on the Two uh, A Pro Discord channel, we'll leave a link here in the description. You can pop on there and discuss this further. And uh, other than that, man, I don't have anything else. I got nada. As, I got nada. So with that, we, we bid, bid the aquif.